tentacle sinks are awesome, but they suck if you don't know how to work with them. This generates a time code signal that's recorded into the audio channels on your camera and your field recorders. Afterwards, you take them into the computer, they get mapped up and then re-embedded with new time code onto the files themselves. So when you drop them into your timeline, they perfectly line up no matter how many times you stop and start the recordings on as many devices as you want. So start by connecting the tentacle sync to your computer. If not, you'll get this error message. Once your tentacle sync is inserted, uh, you should be able to go ahead and open up the tentacle sync studio app. To start, drag your video and audio clips into the Sync Studio. Here you'll go ahead and see the audio and video files displayed. If you come up here and click Sync Info, you'll see these red and green triangles. The red file means that there are no other files that share the same time code. Let's click off a of Sync Info and go over here to Sync Map where it's going to go ahead and align all your footage for you. Once that is done, you can come down here to check to see if your timeline is correct by zooming in. Everything is now in Sync. Once you're happy with the Sync, Come up here to export media. Select the location on which you would like to export to. In this case, we're just gonna come in here and create a new folder called synced footage. You wanna make sure that you have synchronized QuickTime Movie selected. You can go ahead and create a QuickTime Movie reference, which will just export your entire timeline as one video. We're not gonna do that for this video. We're just gonna go ahead and export the uh, individual video files. So click export. Click OK. As you can see, it's now created four new files for you to go ahead and edit. Now that you're in your NLE, go ahead and drag in those new video files that you've created. And as you can see now, when you drag them into your timeline, you have synced footage with the synced audio tracks. If you had multi-cam clips, they would also be synced as well. So the tentacle syncs have a locking mechanism that actually keeps the cable from falling off. You just slide it on to place and the 90 degree bent cable will never come off unless you really reef on it, in which case something else is going wrong. The tentacles come with three cables, the USB-C to USB type A charging cable, a 3.5 millimeter jack to XLR for professional cameras and a 3.5 on both end cable for DSLR or mirrorless cameras or some field recorders. That last cable sends a left and a right channel. One is the time code, one is wild audio on a built-in microphone. The time code sounds horrible, by the way. No one wants to listen to it. Uh, that's for the computer, that's not for you. So when you plug in your headphones, you're gonna wanna disable the monitoring on whatever channel that's coming in on, or find some other way to keep yourself from going insane because it sounds like this. It's horrible. You can mount the tentacles with the included Velcros that they come along with, or if you're renting them, you might have to just kind of find your own way to do it with either some tape or like a rubber band or however you want to do it. They're super lightweight, so you can actually just dangle them from the cable, even though it's not recommended, but they don't really weigh any more than about, I don't know, a photograph of themselves. Because yeah, basically all these here do is it takes the, takes all cameras you have on set and sticks them together in one cohesive timeline. The problem that these fix is when you have multiple cameras stopping and starting multiple times throughout the day. For example, if you were um, like a three or four man video crew, maybe one of you is um, on like a, a gimbal, uh, one of you is going handheld and someone is locked down on a tripod and you've also got like an audio recorder that's taken a DJ feed, a couple of wireless microphones, maybe there's a special performance that has its own dedicated microphone uh, and all these things need to come into sync in the edit but you don't want to spend the whole week um, finding points to manually align them and there's no waveform that's consistently across all of the recording devices that you could actually use the audio sync form on. So this is a way around that where you can be running around apart from each other for an entire day and still have it all syn synchronize easily in the edit. They're USB-C charged, which is great. So you can charge them in the car on the way to and from if you need to. The batteries I found last um, at least a day and a half. I think they advertise 36 hours. Yeah, th yeah, 36 hours. And there's something like 12 hours or so of fairly reliable sync without dropping any frames. Um, it's recommended that you resync uh, all the units that you're using on set at the very beginning of the day, possibly halfway through if it's a longer day. Um, but I've had no problems from the time that I hit and go. 